Alright guys, welcome to your 46 C++ tutorial, and this tutorial might be a little longer than normal. I might even have to split it up into two tutorials, because I'm going to be talking about a subject called composition, and I'm going to need to build a few classes. So, anyways, composition is the idea that, you know whenever you build a class, it has members, aka variables, and usually a class just has some regular functions in it, and some regular integer variables, maybe a couple of string variables. Well, aside from just functions and regular variables, a class can also have objects of another class as its member. So you can stick objects inside classes as well. So you know, like, whenever we created an object, we always created it in main right here. Well, you can actually have it inside other classes. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And again, composition is what it's called. So the first thing we need to do is create a couple new classes. So file, new class I know you can't see that but I already showed you guys before so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating one class called birthday and that's pretty much just gonna be storing a birthday which would be mine like 12 28 86 that's its only job so go ahead and create that and go ahead and press yes and okay so now we have a blank birthday class with nothing in it except you know the template so now what I want to do is build yet another class so file new class and I'm gonna name this class people now go ahead and uncheck that and go ahead and press create and of course yeah I want to add it to my project and go ahead and whatever that thing said so what I'm gonna be doing is every single person who's live has a birthday so wouldn't it be cool if inside this people class we can store a birthday or a date as one of its members so I'm basically going to be taking an object from the birthday class and storing it inside the people class and then running the main program from main so let's go ahead and get started first so in your birthday header file go ahead and delete protected because I didn't teach you guys that yet but in our private we're gonna have three private variables int month which was the month of the birthday int int I said int int day and int year so that's oh man I cannot talk I keep saying th for some reason anyways this birthday class has three variables it has a month a day and a year and what we're going to be doing is in con in our constructor we're going to be passing in that information so let's just go ahead and pass in int m for month and D for day and int Y for year so we're gonna go ahead and set the birthday whenever we create the object so now it's gonna have one more uh, function in it and that's void print date and all this is gonna do is print out the birthday on the screen simple enough so now let's go over to birthday.cpp and it already includes birthday header but we already know that we need to include this stuff as well so go ahead and copy this and paste it right under here so now it includes everything uh, we need it to include so of course the first thing we do is delete this comment because I hate comments and in our birthday constructor remember it takes three pieces of information a month a day and a year so let's go ahead and just actually steal this from over here copy that and paste it right in there so now it has three pieces of information that we passed in a month a day and a year so what we can do is use those values to set equal to the variables we needed we have a month variable a day variable and a year variable and all of those variables need a value so go ahead and for month set it equal to the value you passed in for m for day set it equal to the value you passed in for d and for year set it equal to the value you passed in for y so as you can see now whenever we pass in our three pieces of information it sets m to month D for day, Y to year. And this is going to be 12 equals month, 28 equals day, and 1986 equals year because that's when I was born, so that's what I'm doing. So aside from that, we already know that we have to uh, create this one extra function called print date. And all this function does is print a date out on the screen. So let's go ahead and make that right now void birthday print date. It already knows that we needed it. And of course, it doesn't take any parameters and all it does is print out something on the screen so see out month day and year 
and we'll might as well go ahead and add a end line for that. So what it's going to do is print out the month slash day slash year slash. And I know that uh, this is format's kind of weird. I think it's different in England and Great Britain, but for those of you overseas, yeah, this is how we do things here in America. We also measure um, like lengths with 12 instead of 10. So yeah, that makes it a whole lot easier, like 12 inches in a foot. Who the heck decided there should be 12 inches in a foot instead of just, you know, 10? 10 would make things a lot easier, but you know, we have this stupid American system over here. But anyways, there's my little rant for the day. Now I can go ahead and work in my other class. So after we're done working with the birthday class, and check it out. We go ahead and we made everything here and everything here. We are done with it. Let's hop over to our people class. And the first thing that we need to do is include a couple of things. Um, whenever I'm making a or excuse me, a people object, I'm going to be giving it a name like Bucky Roberts. So since we're going to be passing it in a name, we need to be able to work with strings. So include string, and that'll include the string class. And aside from that, we also need to include this birthday header file. So go ahead and copy and paste. And the reason we need to include this birthday header file is because as one of the members, aside from just regular variables, we're also going to be storing a birthday object in this class. So if we don't have this birthday header file, it's, it will think we're just trying to make a weird variable or something and it will get an error. So that's why we need to include the birthday header file. And aside from that, we need using namespace standard to get all our standard, uh, where, yeah, people header, there you go. All our standard crap. So let's go ahead and start working on the people class. So the very first thing well, I should probably tell you guys is what information is going to be in this class? Well, as I said before, everyone has a name and everyone has a birthday. So go ahead and put string name and go ahead and there's a birthday. We're going to go ahead and use a birthday object as a member of this class. So whenever you want to use an object of another class inside this class, you go ahead and first type the class name, birthday, and then you go ahead and give it a variable like date of birth. So now this class, people age, every person in this class is going to have a name and a date of birth. But we're not just going to pass it in the date of birth, we're going to pass it in a date of birth object. Pretty cool, huh? So aside from that, um, we might as well go ahead and we're going to be passing in the constructor so we're just going to pass the name in as a variable x and we're going to pass the birthday in as a birthday object so we'll call it bo so whatever name we pass it in for x is going to set equal to name and whatever birthday object we pass in at bo it's going to set equal to date of birth pretty cool huh so now let's hop over to people.cpp and you know I think I'm going to wait to uh, do this until my next tutorial because this one's getting kind of long and I hate long video files. They always mess up if they get too long. So um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write your people.cpp class and also how to tie everything together in main so the program works fine and smooth. So thank you guys for watching. That's all you get for now. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.